It's a new battery from Sunfun Kits. Let's open it up. And there's the battery, guys. I love these batteries. They have some of the highest capacity in the smallest form factor. <laughs> All right, so this one has some new features. So one is they have a data port right here. So this is, a, I believe, a 485 communication for the BMS. And then they've got a new switch here. So the previous switch, it only controlled preheating so you could turn on the heater to preheat the battery if you're anticipating freezing weather uh, but they've added another function on the button here and that's bluetooth so with this i believe yeah so you can turn the bluetooth function on and the reason why they did this is because you may not want people just randomly connecting to your batteries <laughs> so now you have a, a, the ability to turn on the bluetooth Leave it on if you want and connect to your battery or don't use the Bluetooth at all and only communicate with your battery through a wired connection. And then I think they updated the heater to where it's just on or off. So I think they just pretty much figured out you don't need so many levels of heat. You only need just one. It's either on or off. Now, keep in mind that the BMS does control the heating as well. You don't have to do this. The BMS will do it automatically. This is only to preheat. Like if you, if you know that the cold is coming, you can go ahead and allow it to preheat itself. So that way, if you have solar in the morning time, it can start charging the battery immediately rather than waiting for it to, to warm up. All right, so let's spin it around. So this model is their SFK 275EX. And the cells in this are the new EVE 280K version 3s. So they actually derate this battery to 275 to make sure that they're not overstating its ability. Even though it does have actual 280 amp hour cells in it. Alright guys, so I say let's charge this thing up. So while this is charging... I want to try to connect to it with Bluetooth and see if it'll reject us. So we'll use the SunFun Kits app, scan. Okay, so here's the battery. And I think it'll still allow us to find it, but we won't be able to read any of the parameters or write any of the parameters. That's trying to pull information from it, but it's not able to. Yeah, so we got nothing. Everything's zero, everything's zero. So you can't do, we can't do anything to the battery. But I believe that if we click that switch there, there it is. Now, now we've got the battery. Now we've got all the information. How about that? Okay, so that is a really neat feature, actually. Let's see what happens if we turn it off. So it's off. Either it's going to try to refresh and we're going to lose everything, or maybe it just keeps the same values from the previous refresh. Yeah, it looks like just nothing's going to change, I guess. But you can see here that it's showing 29.6 amps. Uh, so if we disconnect the charger, I bet it just... It's just hung on that. <laughs> Super cool. Yeah, we're definitely not charging at all, but it's just hung on that 29.6 amps. Basically the last bit of information that it got from the battery before we turned the Bluetooth off. So if we turn it back on, we should see this refresh. There it is. So zero amps. Bam. So great job on that, Sun Fun Kits. Okay, and so one other thing that I noticed on here, this is to turn the balancer on, I believe. There we go. So there seems to be two settings. I don't know what... There's a green and a blue. I, I have a feeling that one of them maybe stays on and then one of them turns off after it's balanced or something like that. I need to look that up and figure that out. These batteries almost always come with an active balancer. They just put them in these things. So that's really nice to have that 
option to not have it on all the time. You can just basically turn it on when you want to balance. All right, well, we'll come back when this battery is fully charged. All right, so the battery is fully charged now, and I want to do a capacity test. But before we get to that, I want to test this new data port. And they supplied me a cable, which is just a USB to this RJ45. And clearly it's, uh, you know, it's like a USB to 485 converter, I believe. So let's go ahead and plug that in. There we go. And on my little Windows PC here, I have this app called JBD BMS Tools version 1.1.4. I'll put a link in the description of where you can find that. It's a free app. And let's start the scan here and see if we get any data. Oh, there we go. We do have data. That was easy. So we see our cell voltages here. We're showing uh, 3.5 pretty much across the board. Very nice. And then it shows all of our flags here. We've got over voltage protection, under voltage protection, over current, all these little things that could be little warnings here. They all look good. These little uh, green arrows mean everything's good. Shows that our charge is enabled, our discharge is enabled, our capacity. And with this little tool, you can set up everything on this battery. You could, you could literally probably ruin your battery <laughs> if you're not careful. If you don't know what they are, I would not go in here and mess it around with it. Very cool. From what I understand, what SunFun Kits has told me is that they're also going to create a communications hub so you can plug these batteries in and then that hub would allow you to connect to other devices like Victron and things like that so they could all communicate together. All right, so now let's set this up to do a capacity test. All right, so we're all set up to do our discharge test. I've got my normal shunt set up here and recording that time lapse. But I've also got their app pulled up here connected to the battery and it has a built-in discharge test too. So we're gonna start it as well. Okay, that seems to be started. All we gotta do now is turn on the load. There we go, we got our load on. Uh, we're pulling uh, 50 amps test is running over here so we'll just let it go and come back when it completes All right guys, so we're down to 1% and just to let you know, I could only set my shunt to 270 amp hours and not the 275. It's just a limitation of this shunt. It only goes by tens. Uh, so we still actually will have more to go after it hits 0%. And if you look at the app here, I, I guess it's set for 270 as well because it's saying uh, 0.68 per percent state of charge all right there we go so we've hit 270 and another thing I want to note is when I set my shunt to anything over 200 amp hours I think this little battery indicator glitches so you saw that thing drain all the way down real quick early on <laughs> just ignore that and pay attention to uh, really just pay attention to this amp hour right here so we've hit 270 amp hours and uh, we've got it says 265 on the SunFun Kits app. All right, I'm gonna let it just keep on going and I'll be back. All right, so according to my shunt, we have 
exceeded the 275 amp hours that they rate the battery at and we're about to exceed the 280 here we are so we got 280 and that's what the cells are actually rated at so we've exceeded the 275 that they spec here on the side of the battery and we exceeded the 280 that the cells are actually specced at on the SunFun Kits app its discharge test is showing 275, so it's a little bit more conservative even than my shunt is. <laughs> and there's definitely some power left in here because we're only at 12.2, 12.3 volts. And that's got to get all the way down to about 10.5 before my inverter starts complaining. So I'll just let it keep going and I'll be back. All right, so I think my inverter is going to start complaining pretty soon because it's seen about 10.6. I think it starts complaining about 10.5. We're still showing 11.2 on the shunt, but of course there's a voltage drop by the time it hits the inverter. And on their app, they're showing 287.62 amp hours. And on our shunt, we're showing 293.29 amp hours. So yeah, these new EVE 280K version 3s are pretty good. So there's my inverter complaining. And just to be fair, I always stop my capacity test at that point. All right, so our final capacity is 293.73 amp hours, 3,781 watt hours. And on the SunFun Kits app, it shows 288.28 amp hours and 3,704.47 watt hours. Very good result. All right, guys. And so lastly, let's crack this thing open and take a look on the inside. And here we go. Looks pretty well built. Everything is nice and tidy. There's a new terminal style. So I think these are their own terminals. You can see there, it says SFK on it. And those are welded on. Those are laser welded onto the battery. So that's their own little terminal blocks that they had designed and made. Yeah, very clean indeed. Yeah, you can see that this port right here right there runs down here and connects to the rs-45 port on the bms all right guys so that's going to be it leave your comments as always let me know what you think about this battery i always think the thing about these batteries right here is it's almost the space of a 100 amp hour battery but it's like 280 or 300. If you're looking for the most compact battery, I think this is kind of it. I'll leave links in the description if you guys want to check this out, and I'll catch you on the next one.